Hi, Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Ace of Wands. So the Queen of Swords is uh, quite resolute. She's a queen that sits in this throne, hand out as if to say, you're next, time for a decision, come on, come on down. And then in the other hand, she has her sword vertically, ready to rule. This is a energy or someone within your life, your environment, your work environment, home, family dynamic of someone who really gets to the heart of the matter and gets there through facts, through evidence, through analysis, really through being very smart and analytical and able to um, strategize and, and problem solve in a really good way. And how does she do it? She's just, this energy is of someone who's very intelligent and isn't going to get sidetracked by all the other things that may cloud an issue. Able to see right through laser focus, blade focus, sharp, critical thinking. And so you have with this type of energy, someone who's going to make decisions that are based on evidence, that are based on reason, that are based on um, really what is there. This queen uh, may appear to be, you know, someone who speaks bluntly, someone who may be serving up some constructive criticism. It may not go over well with some folks, but where she's coming from is really dealing with the truth and um, the right thing to do within situations. So for Wednesday, this is to bring out, uh, for those that need these attributes, to bring out your laser focus, to stick to what you know, to stick to the facts, not rushing in decisions, but being informed before you make decisions and to take your time and to think about both sides of decisions or issues or scenarios that you're faced with. Be wise and be smart with how you're making your decisions. That will bode well for you. Just having this ability to think clearly and to communicate clearly and to be analytical or smart about things helps very, very much. And here's the six of wands. This rider rides into town on his horse. People are watching. People may be thinking, wow, that's really cool. He's earned it. This guy has been a leader. He's been working hard behind the scenes. He's done everything that's needed to be done in order to be able to make this ride, to wear the wreath, to have the wreath on the wand, to have the, the, onlookers check out what's happening so this goes to that ultimately when you put in the effort when you are a leader and when you uh, make disciplined and informed choices you will have success so for some of you that success may be um, some good news or some good feedback at the office it may be something that you're just very aware of yourself that if you set a goal to to run every day for a certain amount of time and you did that you're going to feel the benefit and the reward of that there could be a sense of recognition here again of people outside of yourself also noticing and telling you great job you've done a great job this is a card of success it's a card of victory uh, but it, it's not been handed to you. You've earned it. And now's the time for the reward and the recognition. So with projects maybe that you've been successful with, things that you've accomplished, your mini goals, your larger goals, 
here's the ace of wands and aces are gifts or blessings from the universe and the universe in this case may be saying don't stop creating new goals don't stop being inspired don't stop with the good fortune here that you've created by your own hands so with the with the ace of wands it's about getting out there and making things happen be inspired be passionate about what you do about what you want to achieve about what you want to create within your life and spend and devote your time in those areas where you can at least contribute or start on that path of doing so but this is about the inspiration here's the puff and the hand saying here's the club or the wand I always call it a club <laughs> go forth and create make it happen be inspired but now start to take the test uh, uh, steps <laughs> Was that a Freudian slip? I'm a teacher. Take the test. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ace of Wands. Inspiration. New opportunities. New opportunities to, to flex your creative desires. So be aware and um, think about how you can do this. You know, how can you take this wand and make things happen? When you do so, you're going to continue this feeling of success and along the way, making smart decisions, perhaps being a little cold hearted about what you need to do will aid you and will help you. People who are wildly successful in life are, can be described as ruthless and how they approach it. They will stop at nothing to reach their goals. And so it's the balance for each person of how much devotion and how much drive and how much of that, uh, again, laser focus can you apply? So all in all, this is, it's an interesting, I think in a, in a, in a positive spread. Number wise, we have one and six is seven, eight. And eight is about your power, making progress, getting recognition, and having accomplishments that perfectly suits this spread. And to close the reading, I'm gonna choose an oracle card. We'll say it's an affirmation for the day. So I was drawn to this deck I think it's called, it's the Gaia Oracle. Let's see what we have. Attachment, letting go, restriction, and fear. So, letting go, restriction, and fear. Uh, when we are able to manage those feelings and those thoughts, then maybe we put ourselves in a better place to be successful and to reach our desires. If we allow the restricted feeling and the fear to, to be prominent and to be overwhelming, it's hard to move off of that. So I really like what it says about letting go. So letting go of fear. Again, easier said than done, but letting go of fear one small step at a time. And restrictions, you know, figure out what is keeping you in this restricted pose or this restricted feeling. And how can you begin to unravel that? So friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope you found something helpful here. If you did, please subscribe. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a great day. I thank you for your time and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.